Don't listen to the person who has the answers. Listen to the person who has the questions. A hundred times every day I remind myself that my inner and outer life depend on the labors of other men, living and dead, and that I must exert myself in order to give in the same measure as I received and am still receiving. A calm and modest life brings more happiness than the pursuit of success combined with constant restlessness. We cannot solve our problems with them. Same thinking we used when we created them. A person who is religiously enlightened appears to me to be one who has, to the best of his ability, liberated himself from the fetters of his selfish desires and is preoccupied with thoughts, feelings, and aspiration to which he clings because of their superpersonal value. As far as I'm concerned, I prefer silent vice to ostentatious virtue. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not to stop questioning. A person starts to live when he can live outside himself. Only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile. All of one's contemporaries and aging friends are living in a delicate balance, and one feels that one's own consciousness is no longer as brightly lit as it once was, but then, twilight with its more subdued colors has its charms as well look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better a new type of thinking is essential if mankind is to survive and move toward higher levels there are two ways to live you can live as if nothing is a miracle you can live as if everything is a miracle peace cannot be kept by force it can only be achieved by understanding if you want to live a happy life tie it to a goal, not to people or objects. If it is a success in life, then equals x plus y plus c. Work is x, y is play, and z is keeping your mouth shut. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Once you stop learning, you start dying.